this is Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm so happy to be having as part of Lawn Fawn Fans Summer YouTube Hub. And also there's going to be a giveaway so be sure to leave a comment on every stop to qualify for $25 gift certificate from Lawn Fawn. All the details will be in the description down below so be sure to check it out and hop along. To start with the project, I have some sublimation keychain blanks here and I'm just tracing around the edges using my pencil to have a general idea where I'm going to do my stamping. And then I pull up a bunch of lawn fawn stamps to figure out my design. So for the first design, which is the square keychain, I decided to uh, create a, a cloudy background. So I'm using the Slimline Cloudy Stencil and Distress Oxide Salvage Patina. I'm going to stamp this super cute koala image using Momento Tuxedo Black ink since we're going to use Copic markers today. So for the copy coloring, as usual, I just selected one light and one dark marker to blend on each images. Next, I'm going to use the coordinating dies to cut all the images using my die cutting machine. Next step, I'm going to stamp my sentiment using Stays On Jet Black ink. Uh, this is the best ink for uh, clear cardstock or acetate. Next, I'll adhere all images using liquid glue. Try to avoid foam tape to keep the design one layer as much as possible. For the acetate, I'm going to use glue dots to adhere. As you can see, I flipped the image since I'm going to sublimate without using my computer. If you use your computer, make sure to mirror your design sentiments before printing.
going to copy and print using my Epson 2720 printer that I turned into a sublimation printer. If you're interested in how I converted my Epson printer into a sublimation printer, I'll leave a link in the description down below or you can click the link on the top right hand corner. Alright, so we're ready to sublimate. I'm going to use my heat press mat and Cricut Easy Press Mini. And also, I'm going to be using two butcher paper uh, to protect my mat and also my Cricut Easy Press Mini. And use heat resistant tape to hold your design. I'm using the heat press on the highest setting for 45 seconds. Comment down below and don't forget to check out the rest of the haul from my very awesome Lawn Bon Pants Crafty Friends. Thanks for watching!